a coach has a duty to prevent harm by using best practice. And best practice means having knowledge about the physiology of the muscle as well as what affects that muscle. And it's unfortunate today that many people coaching don't have that basic knowledge. Most people coaching coach because they played the game not because they've been trained or that they've been educated, but only that they played the game. We do a terrible misservice to young people in this country because our coaches are not educated in muscle physiology. Yes, injuries occur. Yes, accidents occur because some conditions just happen. But that's a little bit different if we're looking at a situation where a whole bunch of people have the same reaction. So it's not just fate that made that happen. There is a cause for it. If 27 people in a group come down with something, there is a cause for it. And the cause probably is linked to some kind of practice that's questionable. Now, whether it's practice on the field or it's practice in, in nutrition or if it's practice in coaching technique, but there's a cause for it. And good, we have to be concerned about good practice and coaching practice demands education. We have a duty to find out what happened, yes, but we also need to learn from that and educate coaches as best we can about that. And unfortunately, as I just said, coaching education is woefully lacked. We just don't have what we ha should have. And we have so many people coaching who are good people. They want to coach, they want to make a difference, but they haven't studied basic muscle physiology.